The director of the Center for the AIDS Program of Research in South Africa, Professor Salim Karim, joins me now live from our Durban studio. Professor, thanks for joining us uh, this evening. Though it's more potent, what are the side effects of this drug? Good evening, Faith. South Africa needs to change its uh, first-line antiretroviral uh, option because one of the mainstay drugs that we use, nevirapine or efavirenz, there's high levels of resistance. And dolutegravir, which is the new drug that was introduced today by the Minister of Health, is the drug that's replacing the previous drugs. This drug itself is highly effective against HIV, has a very high barrier to resistance against HIV, and the World Health Organization recommends its use. The drug itself has very minimal side effects, but its rollout that was supposed to have started some two years ago was halted because of some concerning data that emerged from Botswana where four women developed some kind, where they, the babies of four women developed some kind of neural tube defects. That's uh, a bit of uh, a damage that occurs when the baby is born. So when those results came out, the world stopped and said, no, no, we can't use Dolutegravir because of these results. Now, with two years extra data that's now become available, it's become very clear that that concern is no longer applicable. That at most, there is a slight difference in neural tube defect rates, and that is of no concern at this point. And so the World Health Organization reviewed all of that data and has now given it the green light that dolutegravir can be used in women who are not on contraception and who are planning to have a pregnancy. So it's a, quite a safe drug, and it's a highly effective drug. Dr. Sidi, you're saying that uh, women who are wanting to have a family, what about women that are currently pregnant? Are those women able to then consume the drug? Yeah, so there are two studies that have been done in women who are pregnant taking this drug, and both those studies found that the drug was very safe. So there is absolutely no issue at the moment of any concern relating to pregnant women taking this drug. In fact, it would become the preferred drug option for women who are pregnant. And then on the other side of it, I mean, if they're calling it a, a three-in-one drug, can you just expound a little bit about three-in-one? Exactly what are we even talking about here? So when we treat a patient who has HIV infection, we use three antiretroviral drugs. And we use these three drugs from three different classes. And the reason we do that is that that reduces the chances that the virus will become resistant to any of those three drugs. So when we use these three drugs, and we've been doing that for over two decades now, we choose these drugs carefully in that they work better together than they would do individually. In this particular case, South Africa is following the World Health Organization recommendations exactly, which is to use a combination or that is referred to in short as TLD. TLD stands for tenofovir, lamivudine, and dolutegravir. These three drugs together have been shown in clinical trials to be highly effective and to have a very high barrier to resistance. So in combination, this is now recommended for people all over the world to start taking anti who are starting to take antiretroviral treatment to start with this three drug combination, this three in one pill that is now being manufactured and being used in South Africa as well. Professor, let me ask you this. How are we faring in uh, the fight against HIV AIDS? And I'm talking about new infections and also the treatment um, of individuals that are currently um, on ARV treatment. So at a global level, the UN AIDS estimates that there are close on to 38 million people living with HIV and there's about 1.7 million new infections that occurred last year. So if you take South Africa, one in every five people living with HIV in the world lives here in South Africa. 
So in other words, we have one-fifth of the entire global HIV epidemic in our country. That translates roughly to about 7.7 .7 million people infected with HIV. We have made incredible strides in the fight against HIV. I mean, barely 20 years ago, you know, roughly 20 to 30 percent of babies being born to the HIV positive mothers were becoming infected. Today, that rate is well below 1 percent. It reflects how well we have done as, as, as a global community in protecting babies from getting HIV. Similarly, with treatment, from what we used to see where HIV was a death sentence to today where we treat HIV and manage it as a disease with a, as a chronic uh, condition, where we are not faring well, unfortunately, is in the area of prevention. And when you think about at a global level that there are 1.7 million new infections, then roughly about a fifth of that occurs in South Africa, you're taking a situation where in much of Africa, including South Africa, we are not winning against HIV in terms of prevention. The rates of new infections have been slowly going down, but that decline is really a reflection of the maturity of the epidemic. We're not really seeing the effects and the benefits of prevention that we should be seeing. Mm. Professor, you and I can speak for hours regarding this uh, subject matter because uh, particularly it's very pertinent in the South African context. But for this evening, we're going to have to leave our conversation there. Professor Salim Abdul Karim from uh, Caprice are giving us the latest when it comes to the new drug offered, um, or ARV drug that is, that they're calling it the three-in-one.